What's up my fairy foxes? We are back with some more amnesia. This time we are going to do a new pathway. I figured I would bring you along because all we have is two more I believe. Because I finished Shin's route on my own. We did Toma's route last time. So this time we're going to get into whatever other route there's I don't remember who the other two are like lesser ones that I don't really care a whole lot about <laughs> I don't mean to be sounding terrible like that but it just is a fact <laughs> so whatever's next um so this you know is a thing uh the beginning part's always the same so I'm just going to let's we're going to skip ahead to after whenever I'm picking what route we're doing okay so here we are so we've done the heart world and the diamond world so what we've got left to choose from is spade and clover I'm feeling more of a clover right now so we're just gonna delve into that I think this might be um Maybe Iki? I don't- I'm not certain. I don't know. These two aren't, like, my favoritest, so. And, like, I just picked most of the same stuff, so if you want to know what I chose, just go to, like, the first part of any of my other- Uh, any of the- uh, of the other- <laughs> any of the other, I'm sorry. Just go to part one of the Amnesia with Toma, and you can see what choices if you're really curious. But this is where the real story begins, so. Ah, Coda, are you awake? How do you feel? Does it hurt anywhere? Can you see me? Orion. Oh, good. You still remember what we talked about in Between Worlds. And you look like you're fine. I'm relieved, for now at least. All right, enough fooling around. I'll just tell you again. My name is Orion. You remember, right? I'm going to be your spirit partner from now on, so let's get going. Now then, we were going to talk to your family first, right? Hearing information from your family would fill in the blanks in your memories. But the only problem is... It looks like you live in this place all by yourself. <laughs> you see, while you were sleeping, I took a look around. It looks to me like your place is a studio apartment. Nice lighting, large storage space, separate bathroom, indoor laundry, and the building's not too old. There's an intercom with a monitor, and from this button here, I'd say your apartment unit has its own auto lock and code. Looks like the security's pretty good. Just judging from your appearance, you seem to be either high school or college age. The problem is that you have no relatives nearby to talk to. I don't know if you're just living alone for now or if you're all alone in this world. <laughs> hey, how does it feel when you look around your room? Can you remember anything? That sounds so depressing. I don't know if you're all alone in this world or... What? But... <laughs> um... I can't remember anything. I see. I guess it could really be- couldn't really be that easy. You were sleeping alone with pajamas on, so it's pretty clear that you're in your own apartment, and this is your room. For now, why don't you look around th the room? Like in your drawers and stuff. I can't touch the human world, so I haven't been able to check in there. What I was able to figure out by l looking around was that you live alone, and that's it sometime in August. See? Your calendar, calendar's at August right now. For August, the weather's actually pretty nice. Anyway, see if you can search your room for any clues. Hmm, let's go to the bookshelf first. Hmm, nothing that looks like an album. If there were pictures, they could trigger some strong memories. Hmm, the rest just looks like a lot of different books. Difficult books. Basic psychology, current clinical psychology. Huh, were you studying psychology for school? I would. Along the double doors. Hmm, just random stuff here. Nothing much to see. Hmm? What's this in the back? 
This is just a girly comic book. You don't have to hide this. I'm so confused. Inside the drawer! Pins, stationery, envelopes. <sighs> Nothing here to tell us what kind of person you were. On top of the desk. Are you working on an essay for school? Oh, a notebook! Let's check it out later. Why later? Trash can! Hmm, it's just full of empty snack boxes. <laughs> um, bed. It's the bed you were just sleeping in. <laughs> Even though you were just sleeping, it looks so neat. <laughs> now that I think of it, you instinctively made your bed as soon as you woke up, huh? I mean, that should be good, I guess. Air conditioner! You were sleeping with the air conditioner on. That's why it feels so nice in here. Makes sense. You know, no offense, but these hats look kind of out of season. Hey, it's August, so I think you should have more summer hats out. Is it just me? Rude. Hey! There's your school ID! Alright, this should tell us a lot of information. It looks like your name was exactly as you remembered it after all. Also, you're a college student, first year psychology major. Your school's address is here too. Looks like you'll be able to keep going to school for now. Hmm, wait, it's August right now. Isn't it summer break then? Huh? Even though I'm a spirit, I seem to know a lot about when schools are on break. <laughs> I'm pretty knowledgeable about human life, aren't I? Wait, that means... We're so lucky! You're free during this month! We might get your memories back before you're exposed to other people's cruelty and greed. Meeting more people might help you remember, but it'd also, but it'd also be easier to get tricked, so... It's really lucky that you can move around during summer break like this. Let's shoot for the end of the month. Alright. I don't mind e meeting other people. Yes, let's hurry. Huh. Oh, I can already I can already tell this is just this is gonna go this is gonna go bad. Yes, let's hurry. I'll do my best to help. Let's go for it. Alright, then let's see. Oh, I spy a cell phone. This is it, the ultimate source of info. Let's check out what's in it. You might remember something off of your phone history. Why would I be scared? That's retarded. Right, let's hurry and look. I hope there are clear names in there like mom or dad or my friend. Oh, new info already. Looks like today's August 1st. See, it's displayed on the screen. All right, we have an entire month of summer break. August 1st. All right, let's take a look through your address book. Maybe we can find some phone numbers for your family members. If we really need to, you could even call everyone just to say hello or something. It'd probably offer at least a little information. A cell phone really is a treasure trove of information. Wait, what? Your address book has 1,250 entries! It's in the four-digit range. You must have had a lot of friends. Oh, there are a lot of numbers for things like the dentist and school. I see, I see. Still, that's no reason to have this many entries. You kept track of way too many numbers. Hmm, if you called every entry in this address book, You'd probably find hidden information somewhere, but... Well, we don't know anything about them, so we don't have time for speculation. Next, your message history. Wait, huh? Five messages received total? You have 1,250 contacts recorded in here, yet you only have five received messages? Maybe you were actually a pretty lonely girl. Hey! Ah, uh, sorry, I won't ask you about that. Anyway, I wonder if the five messages are from your friends. Oh, they're all from the same person. And 
Wait, what's this? The oldest one is from three days ago. I got it now. I'm sure you just bought a new cell phone a little while ago. Just look closely. This phone is still shiny and pretty. Much brand new. It looks like you just got it. You just bought this three days ago. So you've only received five messages so far. That makes sense. Next, we should check the contents of these five messages. First, let's check the message you received right after you got your new phone. Good night. <laughs> it's really simple. Yeah. Uh, maybe you're just really close to this person? Whatever, let's go on to the second message now. What could the second message contain? Good morning. Yeah, this one's simple too. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> oh, come on. You're just getting the same message from the same person at around the same time every day. <laughs> we don't have too much to go off of from these. What's this person trying to accomplish? You might not be good at writing messages. Well, I suppose that's the most positive way of looking at it. But seriously, it sure seems like he's sending messages like it's some sort of obligation. There doesn't seem to be any effort at all in these. Short messages, a greeting every morning and night, a man's name. I can only guess one thing about your relationship with him. It's almost guaranteed this guy is your boyfriend. I don't know about that. If he wasn't, you would have gotten annoyed with these constant messages and probably blocked contact from him. Oh, speaking of which, what? Let me guess. Oh, let me guess. This one will just be good morning. Oh, I'm at Meido no Hitsuji. Let's talk. I'll wait until you show up. This mood I'm sensing seems almost like a breakup was in the works. Maybe you should just got tired of such a bad texting boyfriend. Sheesh, talk about starting on hard mode. Wait a minute, why are you trying to reply? You need to think it over. If my response... If my reasoning is correct, it wouldn't matter if you replied. But what if I'm wrong? What if this guy is just some sort of stalker? Just look at your sent messages. You've never replied to him once. If you're going to reply to some guy, you don't know. You'd better be uh, you'd be better off meeting him first and seeing his reaction. I'd rather not. That sounds like terrible reasoning. Where are you getting this kind of logic from? You should try to meet him. If he looks dangerous, you can forget about it and go home. But if he is your boyfriend, maybe the two of you are fighting over something silly. For instance, if you're fighting over these mini-messages, that wouldn't really be a big problem. And if he really is your boyfriend, it's highly possible that he would be a good person to talk to about your amnesia. If we think about it that way, having a boyfriend-type guy near appear this quickly is pretty lucky for us, isn't it? Yeah, we can do this. You'll be okay. Alright, let's go to this Meido no Hitsuji place. Where the fuck is it? Wait, where is it? <laughs> but if he's asking you to come to him there, it must be a place that's good for conversation. Oh, right. This world has a super convenient system called the internet. <gasps> we don't know what Meido no Hitsuji is, but... It has a unique name. It might be easy to find if we look it up. Let's see. Ah, uh, there's only one hit for a place with such a weird name. A cafe! Hmm, what's this? Your very own maids and butlers are graciously waiting your return. Uh, I guess this is some sort of combination between a maid, ca maid and butler cafe? What kind of guy is Ken asking you to talk about? Uh, asking you to talk about something important in a place like this. Anyway, it looks like we're right to assume this is some sort of cafe. And it looks like the right place. Alright, we'll talk about Kent's questionable taste later. For now, let's just look up the directions. But she works there, sweetie. Huh, I wonder how far we are. We don't even know the address of this place we're at now. 
Maybe if we go outside, we can find the address written on the outside of the building or something. After we note down the address, so we can get back to the right place, we can head over. One hour later. What's with this? Isn't it a little cold? I think this is a temperature more appropriate for autumn. Are we mistaken in thinking it's August? Like, maybe when you bought your new cell phone, you didn't notice the date was off? I mean, I know the calendar was on August too, but I don't think the temperature of this world is typically low in August. Such abnormal weather could cause humans like you to catch a cold, and since we're merged together, I'd suffer too. What the f- <laughs> Whatever, it isn't the time to be thinking about abnormal weather and the crisis- Crisis is affecting humanity. <laughs> the issue at hand is this Meido no Hitsuji and also Kent. Let's see. According to the map, the cafe should be near a big train station. I'm sure... It sure would be nice if some of your memories came back while we're looking around the area. Oh, this strange child. Oh, I can see a big building. It must be that way. Do you recognize it? Or maybe not. Okay, we're getting pretty close to the station. It's getting more and more lively around here. Should be close now, according to the map. We're in a shopping district now. Oh, there it is! I don't want to continually be butchering the name. Including everything like getting dressed and finding the place, it took us an hour and a half to get here. We've made good progress up to this point, but the real problems start now. You need to talk to a man you don't know, who is either your boyfriend or a stalker, and not expose your amnesia. He might just be a friend too, sweetie. Not only that, but the topic could be about breaking up. This is going to be super tough, I think. Are you prepared? Deep breath. Then let's go. I think you're more, like, freaked out about this than I am, quite frankly. Huh. This cafe looks very antique with a really soothing atmosphere. This might actually be appropriate for a serious talk like a breakup. <laughs> but which person here is Kent? Coda. Oh, could this be him? No. Wait, why is he leaving? There you are, it's been a while. Ah, this must be him. Wait, he left too! Uh, maybe those two were just acquaintances of yours? Maybe they saw your boyfriend waiting here, so they knew you were coming and wanted to say hello. Wait, but those two were both waiters. Why do they know your name? I wonder if you were a regular customer here. Setting that aside for now, I wonder where Kent is. I should sit down for now. Yeah, it's been a long and unfamiliar walk. You're probably tired now. Okay, just sit down wherever you want for now. He's the one who wanted to talk. If he wants to talk, he needs to come to you. So just have a seat. If you say so. Oh. Oh, no, this is... I mean, I should have... I should have known since we're talking about Kent that this is Kent's route, apparently. Oh, hey, look. There's the symbol on his shoulder, so I know just exactly which route. <laughs> wow, this guy's big. What? What are you doing? Are you hinting that you don't want to sit with me? Then why did you come here? Just so you know, Coda, I can't read your mind. I won't know anything if you don't tell me. I understand that you want to, to complain about my attitude. However, you need to make your demands more clear. <laughs> ah, this guy must be Kent. I'm doing my best to improve on my actions after having conducted preliminary research on relationships. If my findings are insufficient, I'll do my best to improve, but I can't do that if you don't tell me what you're discontent about. Okay, there's no mistaking this man is your boyfriend. But there's also no mistaking that you two were fighting. Are you listening to me? Could you at least say something? Uh, I don't really get what's going on. 
but we'll still need to answer him. Oh, wait just a second. He seems older than you. How do you used to talk to him? Hmm, were you the type who would speak casually with a boyfriend who's older than you? Of course you wouldn't know. What will you do? Sit down. I mean, that's what I would say. Please, have a seat. No. But she... They were talking about manners. Ugh. I don't know how to go about this. Sit down. Ah! You... Are you so displeased with my attitude that you'll start acting like some delinquent girl? This is bad. I guess being polite was the right choice. Just forget she said that. Well, it's not like I mind whether you speak casually with me or not, but that sounded somewhat defiant. Excuse me, could you bring my coffee to this table? In a cafe, I will let's lay it, lay it for her. I don't know how to, is that a latte? I don't know how latte is spelled. Isn't it L-A-T-T-E? I'm not good with fancy names. Very well. And? He's big, he's scary. <laughs> what do you have to say? If you have something to complain about, you should just blurt it out like you'd normally do. And once you do so, I will refute your points as usual. But if you stay quiet, I won't know why you're so discontent. Ah, uh, or are you afraid of losing in an argument, and that's why you're stay saying nothing? Ha! A laudable decision. If you understand how this all goes, why don't you also learn how to swallow your pride and apologize while you're at it? That would solve everything. It's not like I'm particularly angry. You sound particularly angry, darling. This isn't even on a level worthy of getting angry. And I still don't understand why our conversations always need to turn into arguments. Because it's more fun that way. He says he doesn't know, yet he's talking like he's looking for one. <laughs> Those nothing messages are annoying. His high horse attitude is irritating, and his lack of empathy and his size are scary. <laughs> I can't even imagine how unhappy you were before losing your memories. I'm sure I was quite happy. You make such coarse judgments. But if he doesn't understand that he's coming off this way, one possible option is to apologize and try to end this fight. What could you be discontent about? Is there some reason you can't talk about it? Then why did you come here? You were quite angry yesterday. Could you stop being quiet like this? If you have a complaint, tell me. I could say I don't like that attitude, but you see, the attitude is a part of him, and I'm a little bit, I don't know. I believe that sometimes, if you're an asshole, you're just an asshole, but there's something lovable about being an asshole. I don't know. His attitude is t a tad annoying, but I don't- Orion's such a child, like, I can't go with what he's thinking. I think I'm just going to apologize. What did you- What is your- Why are you apologizing? What happened to you? I won't accept an answer like you just suddenly wanted to apologize for no reason at all. That would be beyond impossible. Uh... He's that surprised you just said sorry? What the heck kind of attitude did you used to have before? <laughs> Koda, what happened? Don't tell me you've experienced some sort of brain damage. Huh? What? Code Red! He really went right for it! <laughs> to think I'd hear you apologize. It seems there are still countless mysteries in this world beyond my understanding. And a simple apology brought this all on. <laughs> Okay, I take it back. I kind of like this guy. <laughs> I, um, I apologize too. I don't understand the reason for your displeasure, but I admit that I spoke childishly for a, mo a moment ago. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess that means everything's alright? If you can't tell me now, you can tell me about it later. I don't mind if you text it to me either. If there's nothing for us to discuss at present, we should leave. I've been sitting here a long time after all. 
You really are acting strangely today. Excuse me, can you add this table's bill to my own? I understand. Please wait just a moment. Phew. Looks like we somehow managed to get through it. Well, guys, we somehow managed to get through uh, that lovely encounter, I suppose. And it was quite enjoyable, I do say. I Okay. That was pretty fun. <laughs> that guy is, um... Kent seems pretty interesting. So, um... I'll probably continue this in another video. I'm pretty intent on continuing the last two routes to unlock the final route, which is the Joker route. So, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it here. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.